Good morning, Jeremy from Rotronic. Just another short video continuing on our series looking at the Rotronic monitoring system. And today I'm going to introduce how we set up and create reports in RMS and how you can extract data uh, and get notifications of events and things. So let's log into my uh, demo account that we've been using, my demo system, and we can see the data here over the last 24 hours within my home office. This was the, uh, the daytime conditions where we have our tighter alarm bands, and then overnight we can see a steady drop down below the 5 degree alarm limit, and this morning uh, driving the temperature back up with my heater here. So uh, nice and clear as to what's happened. And we can see here that around uh, between 2.30 and 3 o'clock there was indeed an alarm event and if I look in my emails of course I got an email alarm with that information so we can see here at uh, 2.41 the measured value was out of limit triggered by the alarm scheme temperature office and we can see that the measured value was 4.98 at the point of the alarm being triggered with the limit 5 degrees and a, and a quick link to jump through and look further if need be. In addition, I got an email uh, this morning at 8 o'clock when that alarm ended. So that's very handy to know uh, you get a message that the alarm has obviously ended. So there we are, just having a look there. Right, let's have a look at the reporting functions within RMS. So I'm going to go to Tools and Setup, because within RMS we can use report templates, which are very handy. We have default reports, but I'm going to select a new... Um, demo chart report so I can customize this myself. Now we have the generic header here with the Rotronic branding, may not be what you prefer, so I've created uh, a little header. Let's have a look here, chart header. So I've just customized a little image which includes the PST range of companies and some text, so that'll look nice in my report as I want it to be. And then I can select what information to include in the report. Uh, ID information on the report itself, uh, when it was created, I think that's quite critical. Uh, measuring point ID, some people don't like to use. This is the RMS uh, ID within the system. Perhaps we prefer the measuring point name or the serial number might be useful. Measured parameter is useful, interval is useful, I think device name and serial number is good to know. Uh, battery, perhaps, statistics, yes. Chart legend is useful. Uh, we can rotate the chart, which makes it look better if you're printing the reports out on paper. And then we can include either a summary or full details of all the warnings and alarms. So I'll leave all of those on. Measured value table is then a complete table of all the raw data, so we'll leave that one out. So I'm going to save that. That's my uh, chart report. I could do another one as a table report and configure this. There's event reports as well. But that's it for now. Email reports I've actually already configured. We've got a daily email report here. Uh, let's just choose that new template, demo chart report template. So we've got the name of the report that's being created, the template we're using, how often to send the report. Daily might be a bit extreme, but we might choose weekly or monthly which information to include and who it's being sent to. So very easy to set up uh, automated reports to several users um, and so they don't necessarily even need to log into RMS, they just get the data into their inbox. So let's click the test button and that will send an email in a few seconds as it says to uh, this user which is me. So let's, uh, while that's happening, then go on to the data analysis part of RMS. Um, so data analysis is where we can manually create reports rather than relying on the the automated reports. Same information here. Um, so this is our chart. I can select uh, various uh, time ranges or specific time ranges, but 24 hours is, is good for me. I can also add the alarm band just visually on the chart here so I can see what's going on. And obviously via the table, I have the tabular data and via the statistics, I have the statistical data, um, including this summary and details of the warnings and alarms. But I'd like to perhaps uh, send this to someone, email it to someone, so I'm going to click Export, PDF Report, choose that template, give the report a name, demo report, and click OK. The report's downloaded to my PC, 
and we see here the PDF report as I designed it with my header, with the information I selected, serial numbers, device names, etc. etc. Statistical information for this single measuring point and statistical information for all measuring points. This is the same in this case, but if I had multiple measuring points on this uh, report, then that would be the overall statistics, uh, which is handy. The chart there with the alarm bands and then the warnings and alarms summary data, including the total duration out of condition, which is quite handy. That's quite important for many customers. And then the individual um, alarms themselves, and then those warnings. So we had three warnings in that 24-hour period. Um, some of these were during work hours with the 15-degree uh, alarm band, and some were out of hours with the 5-degree alarm band. Has the company name where the report has come from has the username which should clearly uh, in a pharmaceutical setup be a named user rather than generic user that I have here uh, and then the version of the software being used so you've got your electronic signature there. So that's the report that uh, is exported. Let's have a look at the email as well see if the email report has come through here it is. Um, so we can see here, same report, automatically generated daily email report is the title. Uh, every report has a unique ID, so we can go back and find it in the system. Uh, and there's our same information. Lovely. Right, I'm just going to do one little demonstration here. What I can uh, show you is it's a nice feature within RMS. Once this data is exported from RMS, then it's a little harder for us as Rotronic to ensure that it is not being edited. Potentially users could make changes here. And as an example, I'm going to add a simple innocuous comment uh, here. Nothing insidious, but I'm going to save that report now. Save as in my downloads. Um, and it's daily report 002. We'll remember that. So that report has had a very minor change made to it. If I now go into RMS and I go to validate report function, I can backload that report, daily email report, and it tells me there's a validation error. And that's because I've made a change to the PDF itself. And that's quite powerful within RMS. So if you send a PDF away and there's any concerns, you can go back into the system and confirm that it is the genuine report. Obviously within the audit trail, we also have all the details of the reports being created and we have an archive of the documents themselves. So if I load that uh, daily email report again, there it is downloaded, daily email report, and I go to validate report, and I choose that latest daily email report there, it then confirms that it is indeed document 87109 without any changes. So very powerful. Right, let's go back to the data analysis and just show that we can also do a CSV export for Excel data, nice and easy. You can also do a JSON report uh, if you want to use the data within um, some software that uses JSON. In addition, we have an API that allows, with user rights, you to extract the data using uh, a JSON API. So that allows you machine-to-machine -machine connectivity to RMS. Uh, very powerful, allows you, say for example, to uh, export your data to, an example might be a, a label printing machine to give the average temperature in which your package was, uh, your, your item was packaged. Um, other examples are available, of course. So, yeah, ways of getting data out of RMS in a secure and reliable fashion. That's, that's what we're demonstrating. Okay. That is enough for today. We will do more, of course, and any questions or comments, please do reach out and let us know. Thank you.